beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am getting ready for the first day of Miami Swim Week. I am so excited. This is hands down my favorite event every year. So I have a lunch in the afternoon and then later on in the evening, I'll be attending a few of the fashion shows. And as you can see, we have to go through the entire process. I think I'm gonna start with hair today. That way I can curl my hair now and then the curls can set as I do my makeup and then I'll break everything up later on. I have a new tool to share with you that was sent to me complimentary from Beach Waver. This is the iconic ceramic rotating curling iron. I've seen this everywhere for years. It's won so many beauty awards. I cannot believe it's taken me so long to try it. And I've partnered with Beach Waver to share this tutorial. So I have a coupon code AaronTV for 20% off. I will make sure all of the information is down below in the description box. I've already parted my hair down the middle, so I'm ready to curl. I'm gonna quickly spray in a little bit of this Beach Waver Great Barrier Heat Protectant. The smell is amazing. The Beach Waver makes curling your hair very easy. So there are two speed settings on the side, fast or slow. I'm going to put it on slow and then all you have to do is hit the home button to make sure the clamp is in the front. You're gonna clamp the bottom piece of the hair and then you are going to slowly roll. And it actually rotates the hair for you. Hold the hair for a few seconds and then you release the clamp. It's that easy. This is hands down the easiest way to curl your hair. It is so fast. I had been using the wand because I couldn't figure out the clamp of my old curling iron. Well, the beach waver takes all of the difficulty out of it. So pretty. You can really play around with the style you can do smaller pieces, you can do larger sections, it's totally up to you based on your personal preference. That one turned out perfect. Let me grab this other piece here. For the front, I always like it to hang a little bit lower. I use my cheekbone as a guide, so I want this first piece to lay right here, just like it's doing right now. We're almost done. And I love that you get perfect curls every single time. Look at that. Perfection. So easy. Just flip it to the back, move on to the next section. It wasn't until I tried the Beach Waver that I realized how important that rotation is. It truly does all of the work for you and you control it. You can also control the temperature and it has a custom internal heater for even heat distribution. One tip I have is I try to clamp the hair towards the top of the clamp. That way your hair doesn't accidentally slip through. Now that we're done curling, I'm gonna hit the home button for the last time, and then I'm going to power off by holding the power button down here at the bottom. And that's it. If you're like me and you are a beginner when it comes to hairstyling and you've struggled to use traditional curling irons, I highly recommend trying the Beach Waver. It is a game changer when it comes to your hair. And I already really like the look of this. I'm not going to touch the curls. I'm not going to break them up just yet, but I am so excited to share the finished result. For now, I'm just going to clip these pieces out of the way so we can get started with the makeup. I'll go ahead and insert a clip so you can see the finished hair. It's shiny, it's bouncy, it's perfectly waved. This is perfect for any event in Miami. And again, with the code AaronTV, you will save 20% off. All of the information will be listed down below in the description box. I wanna keep the makeup pretty light since it's mostly an outdoor event and it is so hot. It's probably 90 degrees outside. And in the tents, they do have fans, but it's not really air conditioning. The lunch should be indoors. I'm hoping it's going to be inside, but just in case I'm exposed to the sun, you know, we have to start with SPF. So I'm going in with the Super Goop Glow Screen. This has SPF 40. 
And I'm also planning to take my Super Goop resetting mist with me in my bag. That way it'll be easy for me to reapply sunscreen because the beach is pretty far from me and I'm just planning to go for the entire day. I might even bring a little makeup bag so I can transition my makeup from day to night. Although the shows are pretty casual even though they're in the evening and I don't think I'm going to go to any of the after parties or the kickoff party tonight. If I was planning to go to any of the parties, I would want more of a glam evening makeup look, but soft and natural is what we're going for. Foundation is a tough one. I am so tempted to just throw on the new Chanel Water Fresh Complexion Touch. I think that would be perfect, but I kind of want to take pictures today. I think this might be the only day with really nice weather. So instead, I'm going to go in with the Guerlain L'Essential High Perfection Foundation, which is a very full coverage matte foundation. So this will be really beautiful for the lunch. And I'm just going to apply a little bit with my fingers instead of a brush. I'm going to use a lot less product than I usually would, so I'm kind of applying this more like a tinted moisturizer. I'm just going to smooth that out and pick up any excess product with my foundation brush. This is really the best foundation for any sort of long day, long event, when you need your makeup to look incredible for a long period of time. The only reason I was sort of unsure is because it's just so hot and it's outside. If it was an indoor event, I would feel great about it. But I know that later on in the evening, I'm not going to want a heavy foundation on my skin. I think the last show I'm planning to attend is at 10 o'clock. I'm not sure I'm going to last until 10. <laughs> That's nearly a 12 hour day. If you're not familiar with Miami Swim Week, it's an event that they have in the summer. It's usually July. Same time every single year, and it's basically our New York Fashion Week, but for swimwear. Resort wear, bathing suits, they have designers from around the world that come in for it. Typically, it's different designers every year. A few of the designers will come back every single year, but it's just a giant swimwear, resort wear showcase. I feel like it gets bigger and better every single year because you have different brands that come into town, different pop-ups and events. So it's not just the fashion shows. There's a lot going on. You already know I'm incredibly loyal to my Pat McGrath Labs concealer, so I am just sticking with what I know. It's pretty full coverage, but great. Again, same as the foundation, great for any occasion where you need something very long wearing. I love swimwear, bikinis, resort wear. In a next life, I would love to be a swimwear designer. Who knows, maybe that's something I can do in the future, but I just think that is such a dream job. So it's always really fascinating to learn about the different brands, see their new collections. I'm trying not to be incredibly boring. I went through my drawer and I tried to pull out some new pieces. This makeup by Mario bronzer stick, I haven't touched in a really long time, but I still see it everywhere. I think it's a very popular product. So I pulled this out to use again. I remember really liking it. There's no reason why I don't use it other than the fact that I just have way too much makeup. So we'll put this to use again. This is shade medium in the Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick. Ooh, it's so pretty. And it blends really easily. I think for any sort of swim week event, a bronze goddess, but more natural, beachy inspired take is the perfect makeup. So I definitely need to be very tan and I sunless tanned my body this week and I have a lot of color from the neck down so I have to be able to match the rest of my body. Oh, 
Got to get right to the hairline so it looks natural without getting it in the hair. That's the real test. This is really pretty. What bronzer? Oh, you know what? I'm currently almost done with my Chanel bronzer. As soon as I finish that powder, I'm going to move on to one of my creams. I might go ahead and throw this makeup by Mario in the top drawer because this was really fast and easy and I love the color. As always, I like to go back quickly with either my foundation or concealer brush and just make sure the bronzer didn't accidentally blend too low. It keeps it nice and seamless. This is another product I am almost done with, this NARS Light Reflecting Powder. The Translucent Crystal Setting Powder, and I really like it. I'm not sure I would replace it simply because I have so many powders and I am desperately trying to go through things and not replace them. But down the road, I would certainly pick this up. I would buy this again. I saw there was a new limited edition marbled powder. That was so tempting. I'm not sure if it's launched yet or if it launched and I missed it because I've been on my low buy. That one's different than this. I might need to pick that up when this is done, if it's available. What's great about this powder is that it looks stark white, but it truly is translucent. So it doesn't really add a white cast. It just sort of sets the makeup and it is so finely milled. So much though, you see me kind of like scraping in here and that's because I feel like I have to really swirl my brush in there to pick up any product, but in a good way. I would rather have to really work to pick it up and then pat it on versus if I pick up a little bit and it just cakes powder on the face. I don't want that. Because even when I look really close up, I can't see anything. <laughs> it just disappears. I want to add a little color back to the face, so I'm going in with this giant Le Beige powder. This is the Le Beige Oversize Healthy Glow Sun Kissed Powder in the shade Medium. It has this really beautiful golden sheen. And someone was saying this isn't really a bronzer, it's meant to be an all-over powder. And you can, you can apply it all over the chest, the shoulders, it looks really pretty. It's not exactly a face powder, it's not really a highlighter, it's not really a bronzer, it's kind of all three combined. But it also leaves such a smooth finish. I think it looks so pretty, it's hard to explain, it just kind of blurs the skin but then it has that, that sheen to it. I don't know what sort of magic they included, but I really love this powder. The Le Beige collection is always my favorite. Le Beige and Holiday are everything from Chanel, at least lately. I haven't been overly wowed by the spring collection. Fall has been okay for the past few years, and the past of the Chanel fall collection has been incredible. So we'll see what they come out with. I actually saw a couple sneak peeks and I'm pretty sure I received confirmation that we will be receiving that collection for fall. There's going to be a beautiful eye campaign in September, the Tweed Compacts. And then the fall collection looks very nude, which for Chanel is actually very different <laughs> because they don't typically have a lot of nude lipsticks, nude nails. It's mostly pinks and reds, and for the past few falls, it's been bright red or berry tones. So I'm actually really looking forward to it, even though it will be sort of standard color story. For blush, I'm using one of these new Benefit blushes. This is the shade Shelly. Almost looks orange in the pan, but it's very pretty. I'm gonna dust this on the cheeks like I typically would, but then I'm also going to do that W trick that I've seen on TikTok. It's kind of the next viral blush application where you kind of just take it right over the nose. As long as you're light-handed, it works. And it has to be a shade that sort of goes with your complexion. If you're trying to mimic like a sun-kissed natural flush, like you just got kissed by the sun, it should be a warmer undertone blush. 
something like this. I'm concentrating on the cheeks and then just lightly over the nose. I know my choice of highlight is boring, but I cannot be stopped. I love this Westman Atelier Peau de Rose. It is just the best. If I had to narrow down my collection to just one highlighter, this would be the one I would choose. And I always just tap it on with my fingers. I don't really worry about a brush. I think fingers are best because it helps sort of melt it into the skin. So pretty. Look at that. The undertone is perfect. I'm also going to apply a little bit on the forehead, right above the brow. I think the more places you apply the highlighter, as long as you're light-handed, the more natural it looks. Complexion is done, and I'm gonna keep it so simple on the eyes. I'm going back into my Lay Beige powder, and with a fluffy brush, I'm just going to buff a little bit of this powder in the crease. Same brush, I'm going into Shelly, the blush, and I am going to apply a little bit of this in the outer crease as well. So we haven't pulled out any additional products. With a pencil brush, I am buffing this right underneath the lash line. I want to apply a little powder highlight to the eyelid, so I just pulled out the first highlighter I could grab. It's this Givenchy loose powder highlight that came out with the holiday collection. It's very pretty. It's very bold. So I actually think it works really nicely on the eye. It looks pretty on the cheek as well, but this is going to be perfect for our look. I'm gonna quickly fill in my eyebrows, do a little eyeliner and mascara off camera, and then I will come back and we will finish the lips. Since the hair, the makeup is soft, beachy glam, I'm going to keep the lips nude, and I'm going to create one of my favorite nude combinations. So I'm going in with Pillow Talk Lip Cheat, of course, from Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm going to make sure to overline my lips so that they are the star of the show. The highlight is definitely in the running as <laughs> star of the show, but eyes are super simple. But even if you're doing a light natural look, if you want to kind of take it up a notch, if you do a giant juicy nude lip, it always looks really pretty. Pillow Talk is perfect because it's a little bit pinky nude, which we need because the lipstick is a nude nude. So this is Erin by Makeup by Mario. And it's a matte, so we're topping it off with the gloss. I don't really want to coat the lips because I don't want them to look Kind of chunky or heavy, so I'm just kind of dabbing this on. Tom Ford in the Buff Lip Gloss, shade 21. It's gold, sparkly. Ugh, it is so beautiful. This lip gloss looks stunning on its own, but so pretty on top of a nude lip. It's so shiny. And if you look close, you really can see all of the sparkle, but you can't feel it. It's amazing how they're able to do that. Looks like a little universe on your lips. 
<laughs> like little stars in the sky. You can see all of the little flecks, but then it's really silky smooth. Perfect. This is my bronze goddess glowing nude sort of beachy makeup look for swim week. And now I'm going to take out the hair. My curls have had time to cool down. So now I'm just going to finish up by brushing my fingers through it. I mean, look at that. That completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned. Everything on my face will be listed down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Oh, no more fun, it's off to